All right, so I'm going to do a quick demo of what we have so far of the RPG game we've been building. So here's our game. Uh, here's the screen we have. When we load it up, we have our board. We have um, basically our list of characters. We have our warrior that we're, the player uses, and then we have three goblins, and then the current player, the current character, the stats right here. So we have AC, hit points, attack, um, and action points, and then we're using a long sword. So one thing we can do is we can switch out our equipment. We're going to change this out to use a battle axe. So now we're using a battle axe. And let's put on some armor. So we're going to put on some armor. We can use chests. We're going to use a chainmail armor. So you can see here our AC went up to 20. Um, so now what we're going to do is we are going to do, we're here, the other goblins are over here. Um, let's try throwing a grenade at one of them. So we're going to use item 6. Throw a grenade. We're going to throw it, let's say, E3. So, said we use the item grenade and it didn't explode because I think there was a lot of sight problems. So ideally what that would have done is stopped us from using it. So that's that's one thing to probably start researching. Um, let's try let's try to just move. Let's move over here to E7. So we do three E7. So apparently that's too far. Let's move to J10. That's too far. What about M10? That's too far off. Alright, so we moved over there. We're out of AP, so we're just going to end our turn. Right. So all the goblins are moving closer. So now we're going to try to do... Let's do a ranged attack. We do a ranged attack on L6. Now let's, with our remaining AP, let's throw a grenade at these guys. So we're going to use item 6. So we actually are out of grenades. Let's try using the Wanda Magic Missile on L13. So we hit the guy for Oh, we hit him, but he didn't die. So that's another bug. I guess we have to check if we use an, an item and kill someone, they don't actually die. They just their hit points get reduced. So we gotta check that out. A few things to check out. So item range fails. Don't use. Those are two items. So now we're at AP. Let's end our turn again and then just do a regular attack. It looks like we're, we're busted on this guy because he has. Character two, character wisdom. So, bug uh, where Rama died, wasn't killed, tried to go next character. Alright, so those are some bugs we have to check out. So, but basically, the the main operations are here. We can view, we can move, we can attack, we can use a ranged attack. And right now, one thing we need to build is for ranged attacks. Make sure our weapon allows ranged attack. And then, if you you know fire an arrow, you're using the ammunition. 
with something built for range attack using an item. We're able to use an item, um, and an item it ha has an ability. So basically, this grenade is the same as a fireball, but it uses the item up. Um, healing potions, these stacks. This is one thing I added: is stacking. So if we have five healing potions, it will just show us one item. Um, so obviously we don't want to do any, so we need to have a back option. Um, using abilities, web dispel stun teleport. Just try teleport. Let's go over here. T zero or T zero. We fail to use teleport. The other thing is if abilities fail. So a lot of this kind of logic, whether something fails and what, what happens to the user in the screen, whether you use action points, that still needs some work. Um, equipment, we show our equipment list and we're able to equip items. Um, and then the equipment can give us different bonuses. So, for example, the we had some rings, attack ring. Our attack is now 50 as opposed to 10. So you can have items that give you bonus stats. Like that. So that's, that's where we're at right now. There's still a decent bit of work to do to uh, clean up the code, make sure it's bug free and uh, flush out some of the, the abilities that we're going to have, um, adding a few new types of abilities. Um, and then, things, for example, the ranged items, making sure that the logic for range attacks is in there. So still a little bit of work to do, but the basic um, gameplay, all the things that players can be able to do are in there. So that's where we are right now. So stay tuned for some other videos where I'm going to go and dig down and do some more coding. All right, that's it for now.